Number three is resolve in our might that in those rare circumstances, those rare circumstances where we decide it's essential for us to apply military might, that we do so with uh, overwhelming force. It is hard to say what it means to run a resolve-based foreign policy against our enemies, because the, the question is, what form does all that resolve take? For, for President Obama, there has been a form of resolve. And you can see it right here. It's physical. It is an unmanned predator drone. And understanding the centrality of the drone to American foreign policy in this era, understanding that in most cases, or at least many cases, the drone is now how our, how our most committed enemies experience our resolve, helps lift quite a bit of the haze surrounding the events of this past week. U.S. drone strikes have killed 49 militant leaders in Pakistan, according to analysis by the New America Foundation. One of those leaders killed was Abu Yahya Alibi, a, a man recently named al-Qaeda's number two, which turns out to be a dangerous job these days. Foreign Policy magazine connected the June strike on Alibi with the fatal attacks on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya, uh, saying, quote, as details emerge, it appears increasingly probable that al-Qaeda-linked groups were behind the violence, likely acting in reprisal for the death of Abu Yahya Alibi. Just prior to the Benghazi assault on the 11th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri released an Internet video in which, according to CNN, he said Alibi's blood is, quote, calling, urging, and inciting you to fight and kill the crusaders. By the way, that's something we should be real clear on right now. From what we think we know, the attacks in Benghazi were not about this weird internet video, which is what created the riots in Egypt. The attacks in Benghazi appear to have been a response to an American drone strike against an al-Qaeda leader. And that drone strike wasn't an anomaly. It wasn't some rare event. This is how the Obama administration has chosen to prosecute its offensive against terrorism. Although the U.S. government has only officially acknowledged drone strikes in Pakistan, non-governmental organizations and civil rights groups have monitored alleged U.S. drone strikes in Yemen in Somalia and in Afghanistan under the Obama administration. In, in Pakistan alone, though, there have been 344 known drone strikes from 2004 until today, and President Obama has already authorized six times, six times, as many strikes as President George W. Bush. Those strikes have killed between uh, roughly 1,900 and 3,300 people, according to estimates by independent groups. And although U.S. officials have, have gone on record saying the number of civilian casualties from drones is, is zero or, or next to zero, independent estimates believe there have been between 282 and 881 civilian deaths in Pakistan as a result of drone strikes. The leadership to Taliban foot soldiers. Under George W. Bush, about 25 percent of targets were al-Qaeda leaders. 40 percent were Taliban targets. Under President Obama, those numbers are 8 percent and 50 percent. An unnamed Pakistani militant told a New York Times report in 2010, and, and I think this quote is kind of amazing, it seems they really want to kill everyone, not just the leaders. Even Osama bin Laden, towards the end of his life, was increasingly concerned about drone attacks decimating his rank and file. In a 2010 memo discovered in his Abbottabad compound, he advised his men to, quote, leave the Pakistani tribal regions where the drone strikes had been overwhelmingly concentrated. And that brings us back to Libya. Today, commercial airspace in Benghazi was shut down as a drone aircraft flew over the city. Uh, a Libyan official told Reuters, two American drones flew over Benghazi last night with knowledge of the, liberal, of the Libyan authorities. They were visible to the eye and came under attack by anti-aircraft weapons used by armed militias. This is the form of President Obama's resolve. It is a resolve that the American government can and should kill those it believes to be its enemies. And it has taken the precise shape and included the firepower of the unmanned aerial drone. That resolve, some believe, may not be lawful, but it is definitely forceful. It, it, it's almost ruthless. And we now think it's part of what led to the attacks in Benghazi, which is not to say it's the wrong thing to do. That's a more complicated question. But it is to say that the idea that more assertive application of American power will lead to less violence against America is a hard idea to find evidence for in, in, in recent history. And so the question for Governor Romney is what exact form his resolve would take such it would simultaneously be more effective and encourage less backlash from the terrorists who feel their power is slipping away.
Bye.